little by little. It's funny how things change slowly, until the day we realize that they've changed completely. Quote by Nancy Gibbs. Change isn't something that needs to be overwhelming if you actively pursue change in little ways every day. This brings me to the idea of trim tabs, invented by philosopher engineer Puffminster Fuller. Trim tabs are the tiny rudders built into larger rudders on seagoing ships or passenger planes. Fuller understood that if such large vessels were to change direction suddenly, the pressure on a single rudder might cause it to snap. So he came up with his trim tabs as a solution. Just moving the little trim tab builds a low pressure that pulls that rudder around Fuller said. It takes almost no effort at all. Now, even a massive aircraft carrier could change directions with a series of small adjustments. To paraphrase Fuller, we don't have to make huge changes, just small change after small change, which eventually amounts to great change. One husband and a couple I counsel has some particular ideas about how love should be expressed. In a conversation he stated, the only reason we've been so happy lately is because of let things go. But there is one issue he couldn't let go. He believes that cooking is the way his wife should demonstrate her love for him. More than that, she should also find great satisfaction, happiness, and fulfillment in doing so. So in this world view, an uncooked soup is proof that her love for him is lacking. Needless to say, he is setting himself up for unhappiness. An undercooked soup happens. And I'm not inclined to believe it's related to any lack of love. Applying a simple trim tab to this scenario, I suggested that instead of brooding in the other room while she put the soup back on, he could have sat in the kitchen and talked with her. He could have used that time to reconnect with her after a long day. The change I encouraged him to make was to recognize her efforts, to focus not on what may have gone wrong in the kitchen, but on the things that went right and on the time and care that she put into the menu, shopping, and preparation. The love was in the effort, not the outcome. Gandhi put it this way, As human beings, our greatness lies not so much in being able to remake the world as in being able to remake ourselves.